I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know that I feel like you have to be frugal to get through this plan. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. What's up? How you doing? Que pasa? Como estas? I hate intros. I never know how to get into a video. Anyway, so I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys about this. I feel like absolutely everybody in this community is frugal except for me. I'm solidly budgeting. I'm following the budget. Well, within reason. Sometimes we're over budget and it's probably because I shop. But I feel like when I see everybody else's food budgets and, you know, they never go out to eat and they never do anything, they, you know, it's like Netflix and chill at home all the time, I feel like I'm an outlier. I, I gotta admit it. I, I'm not frugal. I don't want to be frugal. It makes me feel bad about the financial choices I make. And I shouldn't. And nobody should feel bad about what they choose to spend money on. I mean, really, if you are making strides towards paying your debt off every month, if you spend 50 bucks on new eyeliner or mascara or whatever, or if you opt to take six months longer to pay off your debt and live your life instead, rather than sitting at home and Netflix and chilling all the time, I, I don't know, there's nothing really wrong with that. I've always struggled with comparing myself to other people and, and you know, seeing other people and thinking how amazing they are. I've always struggled with that and thinking that I'm not up to the same standard, but I don't feel bad about some of the choices I've made. I don't feel bad if I decide to spend $300 on a brand new bed spread that for Melina, I don't feel bad about it. I do struggle with my financial choices, but it, ultimately they're my choices to make. And if you don't agree with it, that's okay. I'm fine with that. This is my life and these are the choices that we made and Melina is going to have her seventh birthday party at the American Girl doll store. And I'm okay with paying the money for that. And these choices, I realize, impact our final payoff date. This process for us is so incredibly long. I mean, we're talking easily five years when it's all said and done by the time we're completely through this process. Five years. And five years is too long to not live life. It's too long for me not to go to Columbia and visit my family. Now, am I running out and going shopping every weekend? Absolutely not. I actually spend very little money on clothing or household items or whatever. I hope you understand that even though we are making choices outside of the plan to pay money, like for Mauricio's graduate school and stuff, the ultimate goal is to live a debt-free lifestyle. If it takes us longer to do that than, you know, other people, I'm okay with that because we're going to get there and I know we're going to get there. And, and when we do get there, it'll be like this giant aha and, or it'll be anticlimactic and we'll be like, well, that wasn't a big deal. But what I do know is that Melina will go to college debt-free and she will not start her adult life with debt and Mauricio and I will be able to retire wherever we want and do whatever we want to do. So there's that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. I hope this